A man on very slick ice fires a rifle horizontally. The mass of the man together with the rifle is 70 kilograms, and the mass of the bullet is 10 grams. If the bullet leaves the muzzle at a speed of 500 meters per second, what is the final speed of the man? All right, let's go ahead and draw a little picture here. So we have a dude who is, ooh, that was pretty bad ice. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, whatever. So a man is standing on very slick ice. We have our guy, and he is holding a rifle. Okay. They say the mass of the man. Actually, I'm gonna change this. So let's go ahead and. Since they're giving us two different masses, one with the guy and the rifle, and then one with the bullet, let's use a capital M just for this one to say it's the man plus the gun, the rifle, not 70 kilograms. And this one will use the lowercase m for the mass of the bullet. bullet. Okay, and that they say is 10 grams. And then let's put that in standard units. So let's see, one, two, three, so 0 0.01 kilograms. They tell us if the bullet leaves the muzzle at a speed of 500 meters per second, what's the final speed of the man? So the speed, final speed for the man plus the rifle is what we're looking for and they tell us the final speed for the bullet is 500 meters per second. All right, so let's go ahead and write the equation that we're going to use. This is basically all about conservation of momentum. So we are going to use M1 V1 initial plus M2 V2 initial is equal to M1 V1 final plus M2 V2 final. So we have all of the momentum that we start out with has to equal to all the um, momentum that we end up with. So now let's go ahead and rearrange this for what we're looking for. We'll say, um, let's say the, the mass and the velocity of the guy is number one, and we'll say the mass of the, and velocity of the bullet is number two. So we are looking for this final velocity right here. Now, if you think about this, we know that the guy is standing there and the bullet initially is just sitting there in the gun not moving at all. So that means the initial velocity for the guy and the bullet and everything is zero. So that's zero, that's zero. So what we're left with is zero equals M1V1 final plus M2V2 final. So now I'm going to subtract M2V2 final so we're left with M1 V1 final is equal to a negative M2 V2 final. Now we want to isolate V1 final, so if we divide by M1, divide by M1, we have now isolated what we're looking for. So the final velocity of the guy in the rifle is equal to negative M2 V2 final over M1. So now let's plug it in. Let me slide this up, give us a little more room. Okay, so V1 final is equal to negative M2. Let's see, that's the mass of the bullet. So we have 0 0.01 kilograms times the velocity is 500 meters per second and all of that divided by 70 kilograms. So let's do that math real quick here. So 
let's see, 0 0.01 times 500 is 5. I guess I could have done that in my head, but okay, so we have negative 5 kilograms times meters per second divided by 70 kilograms. So we know that we set it up right because you can look at the units. The kilograms both cancel, so the only units that we're left with is what we're looking for of meters per second. So negative 5 divided by 70 is a negative 0 0.0714. I'll just go out to 4. Okay. So, and that we said was meters per second. So we can also put this into scientific notation, might be a little easier, which is 7.14 times 10 to the negative 2 meters per second, whichever one you prefer is it's the same thing, obviously. Let me say that's negative. Okay, so now again, like some of the other questions that we've had, since this one doesn't have any sort of x, y axis that we're dealing with, we're not putting any coordinate grid over the top of it, even though we're dealing with velocity, which is vectors, and we'll have positive and negative vectors potentially, since we're just basically wanting the magnitude, we're going to keep this positive. So you'll have a positive 0 0.0714 meters per second, or a positive 7.14 times 10 to the negative 2 meters per second. And that is the final speed that the guy and the gun are sliding backwards on our very slick ice.